were putting words in my mouth. I didn't want them to go to the publishers. I have always been arguing to break the publisher's hold. That is what, but, and the only way we can do that is with self self authoring. But that, that, but that's not in that's not in the model that they're going with solution. It's that's in the model. open. It's in the model. The go, helping the publishers is only part of it. The other part of this te I, this textbook thing, which I'm very interested in, is their self authoring tool. That's the only thing I talked about. I even tweeted on Twitter when it was finally released. I said I have mixed feelings on the Apple approach. It's it's there in black and white. I didn't like the side of siding with publishers, but I know. Apple's biding its time. It's the same thing they did with the music industry. Eventually, the, 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 the boa constrictor will get around the publishers with, with, with less government and more uh, private sector getting in and then squeezing and squeezing it and squeezing it until... I, it I, I still think you're giving Apple way too much credit in the music industry. I think that was iTunes trying to compete with the fact that everybody else had already embraced the revolutionary things you give Apple no, credit for. Wait a, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's nothing revolutionary from Apple and MP3s. I'm, you're talking about technology. No, but no. I'm talking about the fact that by the time iTunes went DRM free, three other major hubs had been DRM free um, for years. Shit. That wasn't the breaking of the industry. DRM free wasn't breaking of the industry. Breaking of the industry to me was the price model, a la carte. Because we were stuck with whole CDs and DVDs and album prices, and the music industry itself. There's plenty of articles we can all go over about how the music industry hated what Apple did and, and affecting their bottom line and changing their model. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about technology. Well, and, and I would argue that had more to do with the mass piracy and realizing they'd lost, they had to back off. Well, that no, because their prices still stayed the same even after Napster failed. It wasn't until a, a major company lured a bigger fish and said, hey, you can actually get this if you're smart enough, and do it. You know, you can you can you can go ahead and, and have this if, if you know if you have enough gumption and insight that you could make more money if you actually broke this archaic model. And that's the thing. But that's that, the thing. Apple's not trying to break that archaic model. They're trying to just repackage it into Apple. For now, rest you of have. You <laughs> I, you see, this is this right here is why we have both of us because we have the. Give Apple the benefit of the doubt. Never gonna fucking give Apple the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> well, I, 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 like I'm saying, empirical evidence already shows they've done it with the music No, 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 no. They, no. The they did that in reaction to other things. It, well, it's, okay, you think it was their idea. I think it was in reaction to other things going on. Look, everybody, you show me other major, major stores that were able to pull it. Now, Amazon went DRM free before Apple did. Yes, but Apple. It was because they were already so large before Amazon started that the whole DRM approach with the volume of licenses that they had to control took a little bit longer. Amazon came in as a little fish, then became big, whereas Apple was already the big fish. And we all know that the big, the big tanker it takes a lot longer to respond to, to the, like the DRM changes. But I'm not well, honestly, I, I, I think I, I credit Amazon with the DRM thing because they proved that making things DRM free, uh, they, they they provided the leverage. Apple would have never gotten DRM free if Amazon hadn't done that and said, no, we are only taking people who are doing DRM free. They proved that people are willing to pay for things and yeah, enough I, people I, I, will no, pay I, for things. But DRM free. free is not breaking to me the, the price model. I'm after a price difference. Now, I understand that you want the, the, the whole DRM context. That to me is different from the price of it. But, but but one thing I will say, Apple hasn't been as successful, nor has Amazon. Nor well, has I, I, here's the thing. What it comes down to is you're okay with handing the education system over to an Agalopoli system. I'm not. Wait, I'm, I'm okay to hand over, hand, handing what over? Handing the education system over to an Agalopoli system. I'm not. It's I don't want to. I don't want to break it. I, no, I don't. You, you're you're obsessed with the price point. I'm obsessed with breaking the agalopoly. That's exactly, and that's no, 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 no. If you break the price point, you don't break the agalopoly. You're all we're doing is trading a handful of publishing companies for a handful of tech companies. If we go your way, if we go the if we go the other way, eventually the price will be prompt, But right from the get go, we've broken the agalopoly. 
If you support no, the oligopoly, it, it, somebody has to absorb the fixed costs. Again, like I said, break the oligopoly, not the price. Once you break the oligopoly, the prices will break themselves. No, somebody, some, somebody, somebody has to step in at least and handle the logistics. It's not going to be, I mean, that cheap. And you also have to break. See, what I want, what I, what I'm actually for, is privatizing that part of education. Uh, okay, that, but bit, bit, yeah, bit. Listen, Economics I, 101. Oligopoly is an entry is a barrier to entry because if you're not one of the big guys it's like you never existed. That's not what I want. That's not what I want. I never said that. I said what we have now is an oligopoly. And what we're tr and what you want to trade it for is another oligopoly. No, what I want an oligopoly the oligopoly that we have now is already protected by government. What I want now is other companies to come in. Apple's not going to you are assuming it's going to become an oligopoly. I, I don't see that. The music industry Broken apart You're assuming it has to be Apple versus Google versus Amazon. I think that's bullshit. Well, they want to have the most powerful reader uh, technology right now. Somebody else will probably step up too. But and if you and do and an agnostic open site that's platform agnostic, you're basically saying any anyone okay, can see, publish no the books. One does that. <laughs> no one does that. that see. You're either going to have government or privatization. You're asking for some a, a more utopian thing. It's, but it's already being done. Where? It's in this stupid article. Oh, I already read the whole article. It's not being done. I read this whole article. There's nothing that's being done here. Where I mean, th like this uh, other promising approach reduces the bit you're talking about. This open education resources, materials that will be accessible to all for free under a Creative Commons license. That's th this right here. Who's going to do that? That's that's like that's like the uh, copy left stuff. That's not happening. No one is ever going to do that shit uh, right now. Number one, the government makes too much money. The only thing that we can do, and the way you break the oligopoly, is we we have to marginalize it with competition. Uh, that, uh, uh, okay, you've already got one state doing that, and and pilot programs doing that. You're telling me we should abandon those because you don't have faith in their economic model and instead trade one oligopoly for another. I, well, then you show me which which publishers, which text resources are going to go with uh, this copyleft kind of free model, and how and how are they how are they going? How is anything going to get distributed? The way so the way be. this model's being done is the actual educators are creating the system and distributing it amongst fellow educators sharing their teaching methods that work their lesson plans and sh basically letting the textbooks build on themselves that's that model a teacher creates a lesson plan that works that works with different learning styles adds it to the content system and distributes it with the other districts that's that model the individual teaching innovations going on in all districts are shared with all other districts. Good teachers help not so good teachers have their teaching methods, syllabus, and techniques and lesson plans. And those become the textbook syllabus okay. and lesson plans. Here, here's your crushing blow to your project, I'm sorry to say. It's subsidized by a $2 billion grant from the federal government. If you take that away, no program. So it's tax dollars, whatever. Again, government authority, I don't want it. You may want it, it may be seeing it's open on the front, but this is it. It's a $2 billion labor education project. Tax dollars. That means government intervention. So government you're, you're opposed to any investment in education of any kind? It's not an investment of any kind. I want investment of education, but not in the, in the section of books because government's already failed in that section. Why is another government program, that's, that's, that's like Opening the refrigerator the first time and seeing you have no food in it. Going to sit down five minutes watching TV, only to get back up and open the refrigerator again. So, so you're against, you know? so, wait a minute, now you're directly against what you said you were in favor of the other thing, which is the individual districts across the country being microchasms for what learning styles and what teaching Just methods saying, work. That is not what, I, what I'm saying is you're open. That's what this program what is. No, this program. The quiet revolution of open learning, and you can just see it right here, it's funded by the government. It will not become open 
as you want. All this, when this, if this were to go to the United States, like everywhere, I guarantee you, the the, the whole regiment's going to go in. Well, which textbooks are going to be authorized? Which is this going to? And all of these parties are going to get involved, just like they did before, because we already started in an open model and with education in this country, and it actually was more private that government started getting involved and subsidizing even more and more and more. And now everything with education is government. Now, thank the Lord that it's more states controlled than a federal control. But still, $2 billion from the federal government on this other stuff? Okay, so... So basically you want to junk the whole program because some federal money got involved. Well, then you have an allergic reaction to federal money. Uh, how, 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 how does... Well... My, my point is, is then how does it get in? How do you better the system? If you allow, the problem is, is if you allow a common denominator into your model. So if Bill Gates had given this district money instead of the federal government, you wouldn't have a problem with the thing. But because the federal government provides some of the money to fund this thing, you say, true. jump the whole program, it's bad. Yeah, if a private party did indeed give the money, there's no attachments, there's no. There's no congressional hearings. There's no committees involved because it's the money gone. When you have government money involved, there's committees involved. Who is voting for this? Who's going to appropriate it? Who's going to earmark it? Which congressional team has to get to, to get with the other one and their packs together to say, we would like to try this. Can we move this $2 billion into your bill? I mean, that you come on, Rusty. You and I would argue this. Well, about okay, it. but then, even if the government money draws up, so so basically you're saying because federal money touched this that suddenly the federal government's going to step in at some point down the road and go, oh yeah, all those textbooks those teachers created, all the lessons plans they had, and all the things they've added to the open project that are released under Creative Commons license, yeah, all of a sudden no teachers are allowed to have access to those. You're telling me you honestly believe that's what's going to happen? Uh, we fight it every day with DRM, PIPA, SOPA. But this is released uh, under Creative Commons. <laughs> this is like trying to close source open source. Uh -huh. How do you do it? Yeah. Well, it, you're, you're, it, it, for it to, all of it to go, that open source, watch what happens. Mark my word. I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's hypocritical to say, oh, this will work because government... <laughs> So what government? Uh, is money it, uh, okay, you see, here's the, this is where I think there's two ways in this you have a blind spot. A, you have a blind spot on Apple, and B, you just want to poo poo anything that federal money has ever touched. You just say, oh, it's bad, federal money touched it, abandon the whole project, federal money touched it. It's, and I'm like, no, just, not, not, not that's just what you said. You said no. this would be perfect if it had if private money, but because federal money have touched it, the whole thing, I'll just abandon it. Federal yes. money touched I did, it. I did say, I did say that if, if it didn't come from private money, you wouldn't be attached to the congressional committees. You are more open under that. You would, it would be allowed to say, hey, and make negotiations without a, a super committee looking at it, because it, it is, it's, it's, it's charity. Which isn't charity the same thing as, as, as the copyleft free? It's a free exchange, no strings attached. None of these Apache licensors versus a copyleft license, okay? It, that, that truly is a generous offering, saying here, there's no oversight. We can never step in. I mean, you and I on our political shows discuss this. Uh, uh, okay. and all I'm saying, all I'm saying is I like to use the economic models that are proven to make everything else cheaper in our damn society here in this country that are tried and true. And so we work. should just kill the whole open project because federal money touched it. Well, That's what I you're saying. You're, you're saying it's doomed it's because federal money touched it. Go then how is it going to go forward? Where does it go from here? It is it's, it's, it's left to its own devices. It is it's an open. It costs something. There's two billion dollars involved. How will this is only in one state? How many billions per expansion does it take? <sighs> Everything has a numerical value. See, that, I sound I sound cold. That is a reality. No, so, you're you're you sound naive. You sound like somebody who's been trained to basically be have an allergic reaction to federal money. Uh, the, the reality is this is not the only program doing this. This is the federal government trying to be politically 
active in a program that was already going on, had been going on for years before. I didn't realize you were going to go kill the whole program because it's federal or I'd have had all the stuff to show it in front of you. This had been going on before the federal government ever funded it. Teachers had been doing this for the last decade, unofficially sharing their lesson plans with each other, and doing this what, off the books. guess how they were allowed? And guess how they were allowed? Through, this, through their local states, because the states control it. No, they right. were actually using their own private web pages, everything else, doing it entirely on their own time. You, you full well know that states garner and officially, uh, officially mandate texts here, this is your K-12 through curriculum, this is your high school curriculum and all that. And if I'm telling you, the better teachers for the last decade have been taking those official curriculums, setting them aside, talking with their peers, their fellow okay. teachers, going, how are you getting your I students see. to understand this material? The only way for them to do that legally is, it, if, like you said, there's test pilots. Okay, the state government, let them do it. Because they, they're... There's, there's lots of pilot programs that go on. Even in the state of Texas, we have pilot programs that go on because the state says, yes, initiate it. Go ahead and let's test it. Like with the, the, the health programs that happen in Wisconsin, retirement programs that happen in Texas. Yes, the state, the state allowed a lot of it. I think what you want is a good thing. What I want to know is how does it get funded? What, 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 where is it going to take? Because what I don't want to have happen is you have your hopes up a lot of uh, a lot like what, what happens even in the open source community, just like when 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 Red Hat finally found a way to make money, oh, they get lambasted and shit like that. When you because everything. Okay, first off, you're assuming that passionate teachers who are getting paid to teach have to get paid additional money to do what they have to do anyways, which is document their lesson plans for the purposes of the way they have to document it for this thing. What this project is, 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 is the... Wait, we're arguing that actually the same thing. What I'm saying is through Apple or Amazon's or whatever authoring tool, they do create their own material. They write their own books. Which means there is no stigma attached to it. Except the way you want to do it is giving it to Agalopoli Control, where they can only publish them Agalopoli. No. How is how is how is self-authoring tool writing my own agenda just like that you only said. works in so it only so works so in this bubble marketplace. Unless it's agnostic, it's not, it's basically... No, the only limitation you would have is the type of uh, reader that would be required, like these, the Kindle requires a certain specific... Yes, and that's a fail. Well, Versus the a, other... Dude, when that happens, Rusty, somebody's going to already trend, change the damn file type to something else. I'm not worried about some proprietary format that, that people already try because that shit's broken constantly, even when, when, within today's markets of movies and, and music files. But what I'm saying is actually the same thing. They are creating their same, they are creating their own material. They're using, now, you know what, if somebody uses their own offering tool, let's say it's an Amazon offering tool or uh, the Apple's offering tool, th that is essentially copyleft material. And, they, and it's electronic, it can be updated, it can be put to a, a website or whatever. I'm talking, I didn't, I, 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 forgive me for not hearing everything because I, I wanted to try to get my points out. But we're arguing the same thing, but what I, you are obsessed with this agnostic thing of which no one makes agnostic because that's, this, that's like an, an open standard that nobody will ever agree on anyway. So what I'm saying is that if, 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 if many companies get involved, and they make the little self-offering tools. It's the same thing. They're making their damn material that is copyleft, that gets shared, and all this other stuff. But then you're saying, oh, well, their formats are going to be proprietary. I say rubbish, because we already have. Like I said, this is the point on this in which you and I are never going to agree. You are, you think it's a good thing to trade the one agalopoly for another because it's a more open agalopoly. I think we get one shot at fixing this, and if we trade one agalopoly control for another agalopoly control, we're going to be screwed until the 2200s. Okay. I do not accept your premise. My plan is not an agalopoly. It is an open competition of anybody to go in. An oligopoly is a control mechanism. 
they have self-interest, they have self-interest in locked in usually with a natural monopoly that is subsidized by the government, like our effing cable companies out here. In, in Houston and all that. And that's what we're going to get here. We're going to get subsidized no. Kindles, no. iPads, and, and uh, Chrome. Did it happen with music? Did it happen with movies? No. See, empirical evidence is on my side because it hasn't happened with any of our other, our further content. It hasn't happened with books, it hasn't happened with music, and it hasn't happened with... Uh, I, I, I can I can blow that argument as being empirical evidence rather than techie faith uh, out the water. Did we were we dealing with a bureaucratic system when it came to music and movies? You mean the government? Were we dealing, were, with, were we dealing with a government subsidized bureaucratic system? Of course not, but that doesn't. Oh, uh, that's the problem. This time we are. You don't get the self-adjusting thing you did with the music and the record thing. You get the, this is the format we're going with, yada yada system, yes, in which yes, case yes. you're going to wind up creating the Agalopoli system. Okay, we both want the same thing, but here's what I'm saying. If I agree with your, little, your, with your open thing, but if we don't have companies that initiate it, who does? The federal government, if they budget it, you damn well know because you and I always agree on politics are going to earmark this and have committees over this. It's, everything is safe. And it's that's the other reason I think you're seriously underestimating the flaw of the approach you're embracing. Because the committees are going to get involved, if it is in any way lockable into an agalopoly, which the, the one you're supporting, going through the main hub spearheading not, companies. I uh, second press because empirical evidence already, like I said. Uh, again, but you're talking about when that was done in the absence of government bureaucracy. This time it is going to be done through government bureaucracy. No, no. If they use a private instrument to offer their own tool, just like you're talking about here, where it's, it is uh, uh, creative commons. And, 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 uh, okay, but here's where we're disagreeing. The tool has to be agnostic. You're saying it's okay that the tool supports, that, that the tool is agalopolistic. Who funds the tool? Why does somebody have to fund the tool? We have this great because thing called the internet. Because people have to eat. Who funds the tool? We How already, ha we already have five candidates for the tool. What? We already have five candidates for the tool. What? Have you been keeping up with the applications that already exist for uh, making purely web-based, HTML-based uh, educational book tutorials on everything else purely agnostic? Hell, even Adobe started supporting this technology a few years back. Okay, so why is it required $2 billion? Like I said, this is stuff that had already been going on. Basically, why it requires $2 billion is so the government can claim credit for it. That's the reason it requires $2 billion. It doesn't require the $2 billion. This is the right. legislator forming a committee to going, hey, look at this great thing we're doing that we had nothing to do with. We just gave it money. In the late days of March 2010, congressional negotiators dealt President Obama's community college reform agenda what seemed like a fatal blow. A year later, it appears that remarkably the administrator that fashioned uh, the ashes of that defeat into one of the most innovative federal higher education programs ever conceived. Hardly anyone had noticed. Obama originally called for $12 billion in new spending on community college infrastructure and degree com uh, completion. The money was to come from eliminating public subsidies uh, to for-profit banks that made student loans. But late in the process, some lawmakers instead uh, insisted that savings that had already occurred because of colleges switching into federal district loan programs that was a major fuck up. The anticipation of new law didn't count as savings. Billions were pulled off the table and the community college plan was shown. Two days later, neg negotiators found two billion, but they could spend it only on US Department of Labor program restricted to workers who had lost their jobs because of shifts in global trade. The fit with this president's expensive agenda seemed awkward and the most, uh, uh, and, and the amount was pennies on the original dollar. Cynical commentators called it a consolation prize. Then the Education Library Department decided to do something highly uncharacteristic of its federal bureaucracies, begin to talk to one another constructively. What they devised could uh, change higher education for, uh, for huge numbers of students, many of them will never attend community college at all. 
The concept is, single, is simple. Community colleges that compete for federal money, interesting, to serve students online will be obliged to make those materials. Videos, text assessment, uh, diagnostic tools, and more available to everyone in the world free under a Criminal Commons license. The materials will become, so there it is. There is, it, it, it happens under the apparatus of not only this $2 billion, but a, a, a commerce clause to community colleges. The materials will become, to use a common term, open educational resources, or OERs, which OERs are like our public library. The open resource movement has been underway since the 1990s, with free content distributed by institutions. And, and that's the bit you're, that's, that's the, the bit you were missing. System. This has been going on for the last decade last, plus. If it started in the 1990s, it hasn't made much headway. But there has never been any effort to, to promulgate OERs on a $2 billion scale. Uh, actually, but it's made a lot of headway, and the reason I know it's made a lot of headway, and this is where our age difference gets in, you didn't see teachers exchanging this stuff. And this was at being done at the grade school, middle school, high school, college level. The teachers have been sharing their innovations with each other for going on two decades now. This program has been going on. Teaching methods have been being spread around the country, around the world, for crime out loud. This did not need government funding. Government funding came in here to claim credit for saying, oh, we want to be part of the future. And I don't want that system that has been built over the course of two decades shelved, junked, and broken for an obelistic one, saying you have to share the through this Wait, one. Nothing. You have to prove what I'm saying is oligopoly. I will not accept the premise what I want to say. You're making the assumption that we have to trade open authoring tools that teachers have been using for going on over a decade now where they have been sharing in an open way in which all their peers and teachers could operate for ones that only Apple districts can talk to Apple districts, only Google districts can talk to Google districts, only Amazon districts can talk to Amazon districts because That's we're going to proprietize it and agalopolisticize it. I don't, I want that, them that, all that, to be able that, to talk that, to each other without any right. need for technical knowledge or anything else. That, that happened. My iTunes music can transfer to my Microsoft and my Microsoft But this isn't goes. music. Okay, okay, bit. Can you open your Kindle book without any technical knowledge of any kind on your Nook? I don't own a Nook. I don't know. Uh, 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 okay. You don't own either. I will tell you. You can't. If you don't have the technical knowledge to do it, you can't. Right. But it took a while also for the music industry, for, for even our music, to, go, to get to that fashion. Now, even now, iTunes does use the, you know, the, the fucking, you know, you know, the M, what is it, well, no, what, what you're doing is you're 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 support you're in favor of this. Oh, I love the authoring thing that only works on this platform. And basically, that's the agalopoly. It's going to be in Apple's best interest to use a slightly different format. It's going to be in Amazon's best interest to use a slightly different format. It's going to be in Google's best interest to use a slightly different format. They have a monopoly in the bit that has been carved out for them. It creates the artificial agalopoly. It's going to be government sponsored. And then we're going to break this open sharing this because because uh, here's what I, I, I we want the same things different approaches I I know that if this federal money can I don't have faith in humans not to be human and bureaucracy not to be bureaucracy you have a little bit of a, a blind faith that somehow this time we won't be stupid no 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 here's, here's what I have faith in I know that competition works I That's not that competition, no. You're you're creating a system that prevents. You're you're supporting a system that prevents no, pure it's competition. Not. Because it, it hasn't empirically happened yet. It, it I mean, it, it, bit, it's, bit. It's, it's, you're talking about a free market system versus a government subsidized bureaucracy it's, system. Yeah. No, no, no. That's the problem. You're assuming that the federal government works like the free market, and you know damn well that isn't the case. No, you misunderstand what I'm saying. What I'm saying is like what's happened with po our postal system in part. You know why our postal system in part is cheaper? Because part of it's privatized. You know, space got cheaper because part of it was privatized. Government relinquishes things. It does happen a lot, even even to the point of like, you know, remember when we had like nationalizations of some things? So you want to wait like 20 to 50 years to get back what we already have now? But, but yeah, 
And to that, now, what, here's what does scare me. If we do allow this federal funding under what I know you want is something agnostic, but if we allow federal government, it will take a few years to get out. If we allow private companies to do it, competition works faster. There may be a period. A again, where you want, you again, you want to kill this thing because you hate federal money. Because it's, and this is, ah, uh, I wish to hell the federal government had never got involved in these programs because now people like you want to kill them because the federal government wanted to get the political crowd for something they have nothing to do with. And now people like you who aren't aware that they've been going on for over a decade want to kill them and say they're bad because they have federal dollars in them. That no, is not no, funding no, them. No, it's the federal no, government no, trying to take credit for them. So you're telling me that so you're telling me that you have because you and I agree on politics usually. So you're telling me you don't you, you don't have a problem that, that, that there's going to be oversight. I, I have no it's not oversight. I have no problem with I, I will never be one of these people who's doing what you're doing right now, standing and going, oh, the federal government figured out this is what's working and decided to put their money in it because they want to get the political credit for it. I will never stand up and say kill that program that was doing fine on its own before federal money ever touched it. That was working. Wait a minute. That had Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If I kill the government program, then why would it die? I'm only killing the government side of it. You're saying the program's bad because that's not. If you want to kill the federal fund. I didn't say that. You and I agree on the same thing. We want different methods to approach it. What, what, what say, you've been down, okay. What it sounded like. To. Okay. What it sounded like. Uh, you know what? Nobody on YouTube is going to be able to follow this. We've been talking over each other the whole time. <laughs> but what, what it sounded like you were saying is that you consider this program bad because it has federal money in it. I'm telling you, the federal money is after the fact. Right. It was doing fine before the federal money came in. If, you, if you're worried right. about the so federal money the being involved in something, when I the federal money good. dries up, it'll be fine after right. the federal money dries up. That's right. So that's what I'm saying. If I kill the government side of it, if I kill the government side of it, it should go back to the way it was. It, would, it should continue to prosper, correct? Yeah. The only problem, with, the only problem I have with the, the thing is I don't want the federal government unfairly subsidizing the system you're supporting over this one, and therefore, I don't either. Uh, I don't either. okay, and, that, and that, that that's this is where we have the rub, and where you're not following what I'm afraid of, because you kind of you give Apple the benefit of the doubt. What I'm afraid of is the federal government is going to come in and subsidize these spearhead companies as you call them in which case we're not going to go back to the equilibrium we had before the government got behind this stuff we're going to get into the equilibrium of the system that was working that was already doing great before the federal government ever came in no, 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 is no, no, now no. going to be we're not doing great right now i do not accept that practice we are we are shit right now so we're talking your approach is open this oh, the, uh, the creative commons through a system that has started in the 1990s on its own is the answer. I can, I, then, boom, I support that. Now, it, that system is working to try to fix the shit we have now. So I, I don't accept that we're doing great. What you're saying is that, okay, if we allow Apple to go in and Apple, and Apple acquiesces to the government, I'll be the first one to say this is an utter failure and vote all against it, get them out. We have to find something else. You suck, Apple. I hate you. Why did you sell out and all this other shit? And, and, and see, that's the thing. I'm convinced that's what's going to happen. You have faith that it won't. I'm, but I'm absolutely convinced that's what's going to happen because that's what's in okay, Apple's... Okay, then, then Rusty, on the same token, if you have faith that that will happen or that you, you have a hunch or, or you assume that will happen, then you have to assume that as long as government is, is funding this open initiative market, that is just as dangerous. How is how is it dangerous to support uh, an open platform versus supporting one that oh, creates an agroopoly? So you're telling me you're telling me you're worried about government subsidizing. No, 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 no. You're the one who's trying to make this about government subsidizing. I'm yep. uh, okay. Listen to what I'm saying for a minute. Right. Okay. There are two things that can happen here because the government has decided it's going to get involved and it's going to back a horse. The government can either back 
the open horse that's been in the running since the 90s that has largely been at most its biggest hindrance has been the bureaucratic process. Now the bureaucracy is ready to embrace the 21st century and the idea of revolutionizing textbooks and curriculum and so on. That's a good thing. The government can back one of two horses. The government can back the idea that you're in love with, which is we're going to give control of this to a handful of spearhead companies. And which, no. But, but no, no, let me finish my statement. Then you will understand. They're gonna get, they're basically, they're gonna back things like what Apple's doing, and I'm sure there will be an Android and uh, an Amazon counterpart, and maybe a few other large multi billion dollar companies. I'm sure each and every one of them will have something like Apple has here where you can publish, but the publish as opposed to the open agnostic one is only going to be good on their platform. So you're going to have Apple districts and Google districts and Amazon districts and so on. In which case you have the exact same problem you had before the modernization which is we're stuck with company A or company A and B as opposed to if the government instead of backing that proprietized way books the open one which is already established already doing good and backs a unified standard that would happen to work in the Google districts, in the Apple districts, in the Amazon districts, in the Microsoft districts and so on they're backing one that lets all the districts talk and intercom with each other rather than just the other ones that backed their particular part of the bubble. That's the difference. It, I, I, I wish to hell the government was not involved in this at all, but we've gotten the government involved in schools. That's an entirely different problem to fix. The, thing, the debate here is are we going to back a lateral move are we going to back one that gets rid of the primary problem of only having the handful of content sources hubbed in this way where on the one way I'm a teacher in District A, I figure out something that works, I publish it up every teacher in every single district can get to it as long as their local district is okay with that interpretation of the curriculum Way B. And again, I acknowledge that that is a limiting problem, but it's another one. Way B. And, uh, I'm a teacher. I publish. I'm in district that's using company A's solution. Only other teachers in company A districts, for the most part, have access to what I publish, which is less people. It's not 100% penetration, it's partial penetration. So it greatly reduces the number of districts that will be able to take advantage of that innovation. It's not just going to be the bureaucracy of do we agree, it's going to be the bureaucracy of did our district choose or did our college or whatever choose the same solution. Okay, I don't accept that premise because I, I, again, and I say that's where you and I disagree. You believe that magically somehow we're not going to do what we've always done with bureaucracy, which just go, we're picking that thing. I'm not naive enough to think districts aren't going to go Google District, Apple District, Microsoft District, and so forth. You see, the thing, the, the premise I already accept about is, is, is you said government supports this horse, this government supports this horse. You're, you're missing my point. I want to privatize. Exactly! You government. want to ogalopolize it. You want to give it control instead of to an open standard that works against all the no, platforms. No, Rusty, the government does not represent an open standard. You are, you are associating government with an open standard. It's not. Government is, does not equal open standard. No, no, I'm, I'm not. not but, but, again, you're, you're turning your... Uh, for anybody who's still watching this, you could... Jeez, the problem. I'm sure y'all are following this better than us because we have like galvanizing opposites here. You are letting your dislike of government cloud your point of view here. I am not. I am not saying. I am not saying. I'm not saying that government equates with open. I'm saying if we let, if we back this 
privatization, proprietization you're going with. It's the death of the open standard that already exists. Okay. I let you speak in, uh, without uh, interruption. Uh, okay. You, now tell me, tell me, tell me the counter. What I'm saying is that if your system, without government, two billion dollars in the Department of Education and uh, uh, this this labor education project, which is a government name, not not what you're calling the open education movement. That's that's outside of government. I am saying I don't want government supporting yours or interfering with mine. I am trying to find a way because government is the problem. Government is why our university costs more and our books cost more. I am trying to remove that problem. You, it, it, if our argument comes down to saying, Mr. Bitt, you cannot remove that problem, then we can't proceed. Because I believe we can remove the government problem. I would love your way to work if we can do it without the government quotient in there. I'm trying to say, hey, hey, fine, you know what? If, if, if a teacher's on their own out of maybe Texas, uh, you know, I would say Texas, my state, out of you know, their state budgets that, that comes down to the schools, they, they, and they utilize that money and they make uh, creative comments books on their own, that's great, you know what? And there's not this specific program like this, this, this damn article is specifying, and they're on their own and all these textbooks. Now, that also has to cross state lines. And, and, and while they may be Creative Commons and all that other stuff, other states, and see, we have to get rid of that government problem because what what will the other states say? Oh, yeah, it is free over here. Oh, but we want to, we, we, we're going to do it this way, by golly, because this is what our students are going to have. And even though those Creative Commons that you want and I want out there are there to use, the government is still there saying, yeah, well, we understand it's free, but you're not allowed to use that material. And if you, and, and by the way, we're going to test you with our like uh, Texas equivalent toss testing just to verify that you are using our own material. So it, it becomes like this very frustrating loop because believe me, there are, there are states that do nothing but, and this is like an argument within education of saying, gosh, we're only teaching our students to pass these idiot tests that, that, that are... are, are I mean, uh, sadly, I think that's 46 of the 50 states right now, and Texas is one of them. I know. <laughs> yes. Yes. Believe me, that's, that's, yeah, so wow. Wow. No, no, wait, wait. Didn't they recently rename it in Texas to the TAS now or whatever it is? TAS? I don't know. Let me see what it is. You have kids. I mean, you have kids in school. Yeah. I, 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 is it still the TOS? Or, I think they like renamed it recently, didn't they? It was TOS. Hold on. Let me, let me wiki this time. Let's see. Texas Education Agency uh, TOS webpage. Yeah, it's still a Texas Assessment of Academic Skills. Okay, okay. Now, wait, 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 you're right, they probably did rename it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. It's yeah, assessment of, yeah, that would, th that tax. would be T-A-A-S. Tax, it's tax, T-A-K-S. Yes, I, I, yes, I knew they renamed it. <laughs> Can I, yes. okay. I, 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 yeah, no, they were, they were toying that. around with renaming it. I knew they renamed it. No, it, it, it see, here, here's the thing. I, 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 here's the thing. I think we both want the same thing. We want the stranglehold broke. My argument is... is my argument is... Wait, let me speak. All right, all right. We, of course, are going to say anything. I know you agree with me politically, too. I know that... But the thing of it is, I just don't, I, I, I have faith that we can relinquish the government stranglehold on this. And you know what? If if your approach, if the, if the approach can do it without an Apple tool or an Amazon tool, and there's Linux tools that are totally open co under copyleft, I will support that too. What I'm saying is that it takes a powerhouse with capital to uh, to, to 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 burn down the other house with a whole bunch of capital. I, 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 you know what? I, when it comes to the educational system, powerhouses are the worst thing. And, and I say, and, and this is where we no, no, no. See, this is, and again, you and I are on polar opposites here, which is a good thing because we're really. If anybody's still watching this, which has gone on now for like forty plus minutes, we we really do need to get to the point of wrapping up. Uh, it is uh, your your opinion is you have faith that going through the powerhouse is a way to overcome the bureaucracy, that we will go through the powerhouses and we won't wind up with the bureaucratic system where 
by right. they'll they'll right. support one powerhouse, which will then create an agonistic system. Uh, I, you think that won't happen? You, no, 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 no. Let me. Think. You you have faith that that won't happen, and the powerhouses will result in the breaking of that system. My opinion is that it will have the exact opposite effect. That the old system that we both want to go away will latch on to the emerging powerhouses and use them to make it a lateral shift instead of a revolutionary shift. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay. So what all right, let's say what, what does happen. Because I will support your system so long as that government steps back and then we let it grow on its own. If, if I, and you know what? I'm fine with that because the system I like had been doing fine decades before government got involved in this. However, can you keep government out of your system? Do you honestly think that's possible? Yes, I do. See, because and that's the thing. Right. This is where you and I disagree. I don't think that's possible. I think government will tie on to the system you want to support. In which case, the, uh, no, we, it's even in our open standard to say we don't even have another powerhouse to do it. Let's say that these teachers keep doing it. The states are still going to—they're still going to do their self-testing thing. And if we don't remove that self-testing thing, then all the Creative Commons books can exist out there, but nobody will be using them. And that's a very sad thing. You didn't—you didn't—you didn't go uh, hang and pick with the teachers when you were in school, did you? I, 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 okay. I created with my teacher the first. The first political terror uh, 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 class at my university, uh, I, I participated heavily within the departments of uh, both political science and economics to, to get. I'm not surprised with the economics. He, 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 he was born with an economics textbook in his, in his hand. <laughs> and, and short of, because short of us having no limitation to anything, we need economics. And that's why I always tell people who debate economics. As long as we have a limitation, that's why we, we study it. The second, if you want to argue against this money system, then invent something that marginalizes everything. We, that makes raw material almost... Oh, uh, no, we could get into that debate, but you have already said you don't consider anything that goes into that debate an economic model. So what I'm going to do, and, oh no, before that, that, we'll go another hour on that. What I'm going to yeah. do is go ahead and put a hash mark in here so we, so we don't, I'm going to put a hash mark in here so we don't lose this, what we already have, and then, uh, okay, unless you've got like one last thing you want to say on yeah. this. It's true, it's true, it, it could be dangerous on the other side. The government continues to support this open learning thing, and then, and then really at that point, the government basically is in charge of what. It, basically, because they use their commerce clause to say X, Y, and Z, and the states essentially say, "Hey, this is our self-testing, which means we can do this." Blah blah blah. It could, my approach, sure, they could side with the government, and I, I would, and I would tell you, they're not would be extremely against it. But I, I do have... And then it'll be too late. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, wait. I do have exit, but there, there isn't any promise for the open initiative either. It, it, government's already involved there. So we, I think there's less promise there. Unless they... Uh, uh, again, you, you poo-poo it because of your hate of government. I, I'm, I, this is the thing you're not understanding. When government sponsors proprietary, it creates an agalopoly. If government gets involved in private and open, or it gets involved in open, here's what happens. When the government steps away from open, it's still open. When the government gets involved in open, it's still open. Basically, no, it's, it's open with bureaucratic layers. No, no it, it, here's the thing. When you, no, 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 no. okay, you're, you're, Again, you're more a fan of clothes than science. Why, why do you want to defend this government? Support? I'm not defending the government. I'm saying the government getting involved doesn't change the fact that it's open and agnostic. Okay, but then will Texas use it? Because we already have, we, you already agree. There's self-testing, which guarantees materials X, Y, and Z get used. Uh, okay. So how, oh, oh, oh. How, how does Creative Commons material help us if the government won't change? 
That's my point. I want to privatize it, remove the government variable. Because the difference is with the Creative Commons thing, I, I guarantee you the number one thing in the bureaucratic process, and this ultimately is what will help undermine the bureaucratic process. You, you have this utopian ideal that the bureaucratic process can just be self-undermined. I guarantee you what undermines no, the no no I, I I guarantee you what undermines the bureaucratic process more is a teacher coming to the bureaucrat and going I have this new thing I'd like us to try and the bureaucrat goes and how much is that going to cost and the teacher goes not a damn thing okay Wrong. go ahead and try it Wrong. the teacher's going to go we don't want this really okay that's great. no 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 when the t I, I, when the teachers I, I come with create, when the teachers come with creative comment things and say, "I have this new book and lesson plan I want to put in, and we don't have to buy it." Then I see. But when we were doing like political with political terrorism, we were using other materials that were actually going to be donated for free. And what happens is this: teachers are part of unions, and unions already have bids with other things that make self happy relationships all sanctioned and protected by government and they're going to say well let's undermine this bid yeah Rusty that's great that it is free but we already have a process in place I really appreciate your initiative and your enthusiasm and you know we'll, we'll look further into it thanks and have a great day I've been there Rusty because most of our teachers well if you think the system is that completely corrupt then you oh, basically yeah. just argued that my argument of the agalopoli is exactly what will happen then because they know because you because teachers organization a will pick google and teachers organization b will pick apples and teacher organization c will click amazon and you you boom agalopoli wait 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 guess what happens though even it may it may start out temporarily and then it will go away but in the beginning okay okay better marcel on what planet does an agalopoli ever self undermine? Competition. No, no, no. Agalopolis directly. Agalopolis directly prevent competition. Let me take my, my logical point. You argued to me, oh, we were able to do this with music and videos and all that stuff because government was involved. So you said, well, this won't work because government will get involved. But then once I said, okay. Once I remove government, it becomes private. It's an oligop oligopoly. But guess what? Now it's private. Now the same effects can happen against it that prove my point against music and everything else. Because now I've removed the government thing. So, oh, 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 hey, okay, 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 okay. But, 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 uh, but because we have to wrap this up, I'm going to summarize this into a single question for you. And I want a less than five minute answer, if at all possible. Hmm. How is a small number of private companies a for less than five choices going to undermine the government bureaucratic control how is it going to make that go away well because that, that's the whole premise of your argument exactly. that by handing it over to these very less than five companies because that's what it's going to be it's going to be less than five probably only three but possibly yeah, possibly that's upwards that's of five how is how is how is five tiny solutions going to magically get rid of government bureaucracy how is that going to do that just like basically just like you said it, it likely will start off with a very few amount amount of companies, and what they start doing is, first they they go get their government contracts and get their districts and own their districts, because that's how this system works right now. So I, I, again, that's how you bid into this system right now. So if they do that, how is that? Ah, oh, damn it! Hello. Hello. I'm here. You're not video. All right. Okay, there goes your video. Okay. Okay. Because the way this system works is you go in and you bid. I cannot believe we're spending two, two hours on this, but okay. The way this system works 
is these companies are going to go in and bid for a district or bid for a university or bid for a government thing or whatever. Okay, how is this, how is it giving, how is a private, how is the fact that it's a private company going to magically change the fact that that's the way this system works? I don't think it'll magically happen, but here's... Oh, okay, okay, so you accept that it's going to start out agalopalistic. I just oh, said oh, that. Oh, 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 okay. Question two: If it's give me a his because you're trying to say empirical evidence and you're starting something that wasn't obelistic that was in a competitive market. So you, so let so so name me something that it has that's obelistic obelocalistic. That is uh, government enforced agalopoly by regulation or son or other crap that has managed to grow itself out of an agalopoly. Telecom. Easy. You're going to honestly argue the telecoms aren't still an agalopoly? Do you know how cheap the prices are right now? Are you for real? They and, and electricity. Also electricity. Texas is an awesome example. I can get shit cheap now. Yep. Uh huh, and I and I'm dealing with monopoly slash agalopoly in both cases. You're di again. You're again. I I know what you're dealing with in Texas. I, I'm gonna tell you. In the rest of the country, it don't work like that. I and trust me. I miss Texas. Texas is a great place, but uh, it, it, the reality is. In Texas, it's real easy to forget how the rest of the country works because in Texas, the underlying line is this don't make okay, no right, damn sense. Then what you're approaching with this open thing, if, if, if the more government gets involved, then you're right back in square one anyway. Uh, okay, oh, okay, okay, okay. Here's the thing for the... We, we, we need to do a separate show on this because we have already used over an hour on this. The, what you need to think about yeah, for this... I was this, trying to explain a what eventually would happen. Of course there would be an oligopoly in the beginning, but then... Uh, oh, okay, but here's the thing. You, here's the part you need to answer to justify your position. And I'm going to give you time to think about it, and we will do a political thing on this, I promise you. Because we, we apparently are very heated on this. Uh, you need to think about how is your system you want to support going to undermine the agalopoly and transition away from it. I, that that will take more than like five to some sign, and we're gonna have to do a show on that. Oh, that's but, easy. That I mean, I can already give it to that. Okay, so give give me this it's how it's gonna magically undermine the agalopoly. Well, wait a minute. Once something becomes private and it's no longer government involved, then you use antitrust laws and and competitive laws, and then all kinds of shit starts happening, and then you basically because you can attack something that is private. You can't attack something that is government. Something that, that is system. private under a government contract never gets attacked. Uh, <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. But see, Rusty, in the beginning, right now, what, uh, God, you, you, the thing is, is, is we, we missed each other's points. I said, I, I am mixed feelings on Apple, what they're doing. I want the authoring tool to move forward. I don't want the relationship to move forward with the publishers. What will happen with authoring tools, it undermines the publishers. It makes things extremely cheaper as an alternative. That begins to grow and has a financial support other than this idiotic education department and labor. Well, uh, and, your, and your uncomfort is proving my point. They're going to move forward with the publishers. They're going to go down that road. Okay, and if they do that, Rusty, then, then we don't have an answer. If they do that, if they truly do that, then we're all fucked. And I hope. Uh, that. Uh, okay, and that, okay. See, now you're seeing what I what I'm saying. I'm like, the reality is, if we go down this road, wait, but that's a big if. I oh, I, 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 you know what? I'll make you a bet. I bet you we do. I don't think we're going to even see that in our... And I don't even think we're going to see that until you and I are very old, to be honest with you. I don't think this shit's going to change. I mean... If, you if planning on dying? I don't know. We really need to have... Number one, to be the hardest things to break. You know, these... I if, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how, how it goes. I, I, don't, I don't have a whole lot of faith. I, to me, you and I are both idealistic on this. We both really want something. No, I, actually, I'm being pretty much a pragmatist here. I'm accepting that if we go down the, the go down the road that you're afraid might fork this way, I am absolutely convinced that given 
the elements we're dealing with and the crap and the way that's worked for the last 200 years, uh, we will go down that fork that will break the ability for this to be anything other than a lateral now, shift. This open movement supported by government will not. I, that I guarantee. That won't happen. Because states, states, states will have to remove all of their elements that are in charge of, of controlling content. And the only way that happens, like I said, is, is with another, another powerhouse that has funding not tied to bureaucracy. You, you don't understand the way that system works. What it is, is every lesson plan gets published into the collective hub. So every I, other district has it, access to it. It's all collective commons, okay? I get it. But when a state says, like in Wyoming, has all this creative commons that's come out of a lot of their schools, and Idaho is like, yeah, that's great, but we have our own system over here and our own criteria because we have different voters than you do and they want this, we're not going to use it. I've freaking seen that shit. Y I've yes, that but shit. the teacher, okay, here's the difference you're missing. Then the teacher gets fired. Just like no, 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 no. Here's, here's what you're missing. Teachers can teach other textbooks without teaching other textbooks. They can go home, they can now read on the computer, lessons. they can read other lesson plans and go, ooh, that's a good approach for this topic we're covering next week. <laughs> it's in our official syllabus, but this other technique teaches the you information you better. You can do that when your test, when, when, when this damn states start doing what, what these, what you, like you said, 46 states and a specific test. It's all protective shit, man. And that's the thing. I, I, I don't want to argue against what you want, but, but I, I But can't. you are. <laughs> no, I, what I'm arguing against you is your defense of using the funding to do it. And your act... And, and no, 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 no. Now you're putting words in my mouth. You are so putting words in my mouth there. I, I, no, because federal government... No, federal no, no. no. Okay, you're saying, you're putting words in my mouth. Basically, all I'm saying is, so. basically, the stance you're taking is all we have to do to kill a program. It, it, basically, you're giving the government the authority to get you behind killing a program by basically they'll come in and they'll fund something and you'll say, oh, they're involved, it's bad. And I'm saying, don't often, it, it don't is that true? don't often, jump on the program because the government decided to give it money. Rusty, I would love to side with you and say this is something fantastic. Now that it's the uh, labor department, you know, the education and labor department's little uh, pet project. But I would, I, you know, I would also hate to be next to you when that dream is crushed, and then. Uh, all of this Creative Commons shit is out there and not being used. Just like uh, 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 there is a ton of Creative Commons stuff already out there not getting used. You know how much how much shit that we have that is public domain that why don't we use it in schools already? It's, it's, it, the, the, the thing that I'm trying to remove by using a powerhouse is to remove it because if, if we let your teachers do it on their own <clears throat> under pilot programs, we have to guarantee that the, the state lets it escape the pilot program number one and make it all uh, uh, okay but making it creative comments guarantees it escapes the pilot program because it's now out there creative comment rusty how will they legally be able to use it i don't want to hear this oh well they don't have to officially put it on syllabus they don't have to officially do this bullshit they have tests that specifically do, do, you, uh, do you want to hear my answer to that yeah okay Every district in the in uh, let's let, let's play hypothetical. Let's say every district in, yeah, in this has to be real. Uh, okay, R real, real, every, uh, real. We do what I want. We back the open model. Every district in the country backs uh, releases their stuff. Uh, creative Commons. Your fear is they're not going to use it. Here's my answer to that. Mm -hmm. District ABC is kicking our butt. How are they doing it? Oh, wait, we have all their curriculum. The ones that are doing best will get copied. The ones that are not... Be, it, 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 and it, it doesn't work that way. You just... It creates the situation for oh, what so I many I, people... I wish I could agree with no, you. No, no, it doesn't work that way now. 
because all the lesson, all the lesson plans, everything aren't out there. If uh, once it's, it's, you're once you're you're can analyze as an outside district what is making another district better than yours and is letting them do things and so once you know what they're doing basically it's like getting the other team's playbook we have really got to stop this y'all because we've been going if any of y'all who are still watching this I saw it. we're going to stop it here when he comes back <laughs> Hello? Okay. I, I was just telling the, the recording we're going to stop this because we have been going on for an hour and I cannot stay up for another three hours <laughs> talking about this same topic. It, it, so, last thoughts. Real last thoughts. We've tried to do last thoughts four times. I have no idea what's going on with his internet. Hang up. It's trying to reconnect. Hello? There it goes. Are we good? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I, I, I was telling YouTube, because we've been going on for like 90 minutes. We do need to like put a wrap in this. So last thoughts, real last thoughts. No, I, I my video just went off. I don't know. I, I, I'm getting messages from Skype about interconnecting some problems. I, I yeah, I'm getting the same thing on this end every time you drop out. I think Skype's overloaded right now. Is that a problem? Oh shit. Now, the, the, uh, the, it's, it would be it would be a absolute. Uh, I think to have all this creative commons out there. And I know you want to use the competition model. The thing that hurts competition in government is baseline budgeting. They don't have incentives to make things cheaper. They have incentives to make things more expensive to get a bigger budget the following year. And and most of all of our government operates in that fashion. I wish we had the catalyst and competitive nature in our schools, but we just don't. They need to make bigger budgets, and they'll find ways to do it. They love to make bids and fortify it. I've been part of the bidding process when it comes to government. It is not a fun thing. It's full I, of I, 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 You know, this is the really funny thing about this. The reality is we both agree 100%. We're just both convinced that each other's model plays into the bureaucracy. <laughs> Uh, and that's the really funny thing here. It's like we're both convinced that you're going to be the one that keeps the thing we don't like going. <laughs> uh, true. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, that, that, and that is the problem here, and that's why we've been arguing about this for almost 90 minutes. I think the perfect way to wrap this up at this point is honestly, for those of you who bothered to watch our back and forth and could follow a shouting over each other... <laughs> Yeah, um, in the comments, because God, this is going to be a long video. <laughs> um, uh, but give your opinion. Which one of us do you think, you know, which one do you think has a better chance of breaking what we both want broke, which is the, bu the bureaucracy. We want it to be... You know, the focus is education, not about milking more money and not about justifying strong handling and other stuff, but actually about conveying the information as broadly and as efficiently as possible. Because uh, my guess is, uh, I mean, at the heart, that is what is at the debate. And they're very diametrically different models. And it. it you know, I wish we had the quantum probability machine where we could, you know, play. I don't think they're diametrically opposite. The, 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 
confession can be faster because once you make something private, a whole lot no, no, of the the, uh, uh, Okay, I don't want to start that argument back up because we will do this for another hour. And that, that, that like I said, it, it's, we, it comes down to you think your solution is the, is the solution to break the thing. I, I, I disagree. I think it will perpetuate. And I think if you don't go the way I want it to go, it, it's uh, about the same token, you think uh, without taking your step, the solution I want to support will never break the thing. So it... it, it it, 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 I mean, that's just where it is. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't know why Skype is sucking right now. I'm turning off video just in case. Uh, okay, I'm going to clock the video.